that you told her about the dress room? Yeah. I, when I first met her, I said, that's all I talked about was. How you, how you appear, right? Yeah. All right, so do you think that, so did you listen to your husband? Yes, I always listen to my husband. So do you dress, does, is she dressed modestly? Yeah, I'm with you. It didn't cross my mind today, but in my opinion, yeah, it's a pass because we in and out. But feels in my world, if I really was like serious about it, then I would say, you know, it's pants. Okay. Can someone get the definition of modest? We take that step together. Sorry, I'm nobody. But let me just say, hold on, hold on, man. Take that step together. Hold on, hold on, man. Hold on. Sorry. Now she just had questions. Now, now we're gonna explain it, right? So read that Timothy again. Read that Timothy again, because you love him, right? Yes. But obviously you're not married, right? Yes. And you love her, right? Because you're married, right? Are you married? Yes. Twenty-six years, best 20, friend. Okay. Best, I like that you said best friend, because remember what we read. To prove if you would get a friend to prove him first, right? Or prove her first as well. Why? Right? Because when hard times come, you need that friend. Alright? That's right. They're that person that is right there with you 24-7. They're laying in the same bed. Right. They're in the same house, eating the same food, open up the same refrigerator. But when hard times come, a friend will not depart and leave. Right. You wanna you understand? And th I'm assuming that's that's yes, that's what it yes, is in your marriage, right? So 27 years, all praise, that's good. Now, read this again. First Timothy chapter 2, verse 9. Bring it out. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Now it says modest apparel, right? Now let's get the definition of modest, right? Let's see what the what the definition of modesty. Behavior, manner, or appearance intended to avoid impropriety or indecency. So, indecency, right? Let's just take that word, indecency, right? Indecency within the black and Hispanic community is this. Our women, or men, right? Because it says in like manner also that women are doing themselves in modest apparel. Right. For instance, our women like to go out in Spanish, right? Today, that seems to be the norm. Right. All right, you agree? All right, you agree? 25 years old. Is that, is, don't you not see that? I see it, but I mean, yeah, I agree. I agree. Okay, okay, because we see it every day, right? right. That, that's that's it's normalized, right? right. But that is underwear. That is underwear, right? It is. So why are you leaving the house with underwear? You know, then so uh, that would put a spirit on men around you. Right. Hey, let me holler at you, ma. Yeah, you look good. Like, hey, can I get your number? Right. Amen. So that opens up a door that shouldn't be open up at all. Right. That's where the single parent household come from. That's where the, the man sleeps with a woman and have a child and then the child goes up without the father. Right. All these things have a domino effect. Right. That's that one scripture. Read it again. Let's read it again. Verse 9. In like manner. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. So the modest apparel is the women having on a dress that covers her body. That's right. like clothing that covers her because that's for her husband, right? right? Yeah. All women go out there and they go to the club everywhere else, showing everything to every man out there, right? So guess what, Let's, let me ask you this. You marry, right? If you, you're gonna be married, right? Your wife leaves the home dressed inappropriately, right? That means she doesn't have on a dress, but there's no pants, there's no spandex, right. right? You have to have a dress on, you have to have your body covered, right? And let's say a man out there sees him, because that's what's going to attract. Right. A man sees her and then grabs her and touches her, right? Inappropriately, right? Now you have a problem on your hand. And we put ourselves Hold on. Right. You have a problem on your hand. She comes home and tells you, you you, you, go, you will get all irate. Right. Huh? Yeah, there she if she loves you, she will. Right? So, but guess what? That brings up another important point. If she dresses like that and leaves the house, she wants the attention. Right. You understand? So now she comes home and tells you, right? You all irate. Now you're looking for the hey, yo, where this brother at, man? This is my wife right here, right? right? And then you want to fight. Now, now you get a, a, a brawl. Now you end up in prison or jail. Right. right. Right? Something you could avoid by just applying this. Read this again. Verse not. And like no. matter also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. So that you heard that, sis? You heard that? So all that you can avoid by just having your wife dressed in modest apparel, right. all right? Doesn't matter, okay, it's just out, 
you just leave him to go out and get something? No. All the time, just in minds of power. That's how God wants his nation to go. Right? Because you are a daughter of God. Right. You're his daughter. You're his son. He wants us. Give me this, uh, Zephaniah 1 and 8. Okay, bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. Zephaniah 1 and 8. Because God wants his children to dress a certain way. Right. Guess what? Growing up, right? Your parents put you in a certain clothing, didn't they? They put you in a certain clothing. I'm going to get this for my son. I'm going to get this for my daughter because they're going to look nice in they did that, right? My parents did it to me, right? Because they love you. This is the same thing God is saying. Right. He's right. our parent. Right. What he's doing going on with these right here, these tribes right here, that's who God calls you. He right. gave us these names. Right. So we're his children. So he wants you to dress a certain way. Read this. Chapter 9, chapter 1, verse 8. Yeah. It shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice that I will punish the princes. And the king's children. And the king's children. You understand we've been going over. These are the king's children. That's right. We are the king's children. Oh, that's right. right. Yeah. And all such are clothed with strange apparel. All such are clothed with strange apparel. Because God never told his daughters to go out his men. Right. And have her body. Right. 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 God never did that. God told the men to have a beard. Right. right. God told. Hold on. God, God told the men not to shave their hair. Right. right. Not shave right. their beard though. That's what God said. Right. So God is saying, when I come back to judge the earth, it's like children having her body shown, right? And you the husband that didn't tell her, hey, you got that on? You ain't leaving this house. You better find a dress and put it on. Right. If you do not do that, God is going to judge you too. Right. Because you are the head of that. That's, That's right. right. You agree with that? He's the head? You're going to listen to everything he said. I do, all the time. Right. Now get that. First Corinthians. First Corinthians 11. You know. Because we're going we gonna to show you what the Bible said. You understand right. that? Man, right here. Okay. What is your name? Sherry Lee. But listen, can we take a stop and pause? Hold on. Look, look we're going we to read the Bible. I know. There's no I'm pause in the Bible. Well, I'm, 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 the read this. I want you to hear this. Read this. Sure. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. No. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Hey, you know that? You know that? I don't know that is your wife to be. Why is she taking away your wife to be? I'm just listening to you. Read, read this, read this. First Corinthians 11. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. Bring it out. And I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. And the head of every woman is the man. The head of the woman is the man. You or husband, she listens to whatever. Call your wife, folks. So just, just stay here and call him. Call him. Yeah. Yeah. I'll give you the mic. Come here. Good. Read this again. Verse 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Uh -huh. And the head of every woman is the man. See, God is established in order within his nation. Yeah. I am. Right. right? So God is saying that the head of man is Christ, and the head of Christ is God, right? The Father. God has order. He likes order. He established order. All right. right. Read. And the head, and the head of Christ is God. Uh -huh. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. So if you're going to pray or read the Bible or hear the words of the Bible coming out, you're supposed to have your head uncovered, right? Which right. you do now. And if you in the midst of prophecy, hearing the words coming out or praying, right? Your head's supposed to be covered. So you have your head covered right now. So did you know that was in the scripture? So read that part again. Because that's that's what we got to understand. We got to come back to what God told us. Right. You understand? Yeah. This is all of us remembering what God told us. Because guess what? It was stripped away from us in slavery. Right. right. All of this we applied, right? But it was stripped away from us in slavery. Right? We yeah, sinned against yeah. God and we ended up in slavery. Why did we go in slavery and slavery? No. No. What? Okay. So, what are some of the things? Because you remember what sin is? Breaking His commandments, alright? So, what are some things that we must do? Okay. Not 
Okay. All right. So now, give me the numbers. Give me the numbers. But you, nope. you understand this? Um, what's your name? What's her name again? Jasmine. 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 So, did you understand the dress code as far as having a dress on? Are you gonna do it? You gonna let? You gonna? Yeah, 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 I got it. We working our way up. I know where we going. We working our way up. Okay. Where is that? Where is that? Where is this? We working our way to the image that we're Okay. Modern, decency. Okay. I understand that, but it's not hard to get a dress and put it on. Right. It is, it is when you, you got to take a lot of other factors. I agree with what you're saying. Oh, what other factors? Overall, but you still can't use that to put a dress on. If that was, if that was how it worked, we wouldn't have, we wouldn't have to do that. It was just easy to tell somebody. You gotta wake them up. You gotta get them to a like a level to where they can receive. But she just said she understood. Didn't I you do just understand. Said you can understand math and still not pass the test. So what I'm saying. So like I said, it's a work in progress. Okay. That's all I'm saying. I agree with what you're saying. I'm just saying it's a between us. us what anecdotally? Okay. It's a work in progress. So, so what not, is not the big general. deal? Okay. So what is the issue uh, of going online and finding a dress? And there's no issue. If you ask that question, Okay. Psalm 119 Psalm 119 I'm going to show you something. Because you said you're from the tribe of Judah, right? Yeah. What about you, my sister? The same. The same. All right? Yeah, have you ever heard of David before? King David? Yeah. I have. I have. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. little bit. And you, you have, right? That is your forefather. That's right. right. Yeah. That out of him came Solomon. King Solomon. The wisest right. man. He was a black man. And then from that line came Christ, That's our right. savior of the entire nation. Right. This is what our forefather David said previously. Psalm chapter 119, verse 60. Bring it out. I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. David said that. We do not wait, Sirach Bible said. We do not wait and say, okay, well, I'm working my way up. Now, here's the thing. I agree with you partially on that. Why partially? Because this, because this isn't, like I said, you can't just take and then, you know, not take inside, like I said, people's traumas, the way people were raised, a lot of other factors, psychologically, is what I'm saying. Okay. You got to be able to work with people. I get your message, and the message is separate from the vessel, because you got to be able to say, this person right here needs to work. I get the, the message, the law, the rule, okay. but with all the trauma, all the years, and how much time, it, and, you know what I mean, the damage it has done, you gotta go through that reversal process. You gotta go through de detoxification. Detoxification, cleaning yourself, lifting yourself up, and not just being one person doing it, but putting that work in to get other people to get on that level. It's, you know what I mean, you gotta do that. There's no other way you can, you can say Sorry, that. But that's, that's what you that's, do to your children. Yes, sir, like what you just said earlier, that's what you do to your children. She's not my child, so. Right. Like said, she's she's, your, she's, your, she's gonna be your wife. Going to be, but as now, yeah. it's far from now. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so, so oh, okay. by the law, right? Mm -hmm. She's going to be your wife, right? Yeah. If you marry her and get the papers and all that, right? Uh, right. So, according to the Bible, you shouldn't be sleeping with her at all. I know. All right. Until you're officially married. All right. You understand? Now, second, I do agree with you. All of us went through trauma, right? And so you're able to teach others. That's why you see multiple brothers in purple right now, right? And trauma requires therapy, right? The therapy is this Bible, right? That's right. That's, right. That's what we all had to go through, right? 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 Bring it you out. understand? Because a lot of us been into crazy things, right? Smoking, drug dealing, bring it out, prison. Right. All of that, but guess what? The Bible applies to all of us. We read the words of God and we said, this is what God said. We gotta apply it. The reason why the trauma exists in our community is because we do not apply what is in That's right. Bring it up. Sirach, chapter 5, verse 7. No. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. This is what a lot of our people think. That's we right. have time. We have grace. Christ ain't return yet. Right. I'm going to do whatever, right? I guess I still got time. I'm working my way up to there, right? So why not just start? Because start with one commandment. How about that? Start with one. The dress code. How about that? 
That is a first step in the right direction. Right. That's you right. understand? Read. Mr. Booker Surratt tried to file for a second. Bring it up. Make no tearing to turn to the Lord and put not off from the day to day. Put not off from day to day. Because I'm working today. All right, I'm 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 gonna do it tomorrow. I'm gonna do it next week. I'm gonna do it a month. I'm gonna do it a year after. Uh, after. God says don't do that because you don't know when Christ is returning. Right. You don't know when your bridge is up. Right. Right. You don't know when you're gonna drop dead. Right. You understand? So God says, why do you have breath? Do what I say. That's because right. God has your life in your hand, in His hands, right? He can take it and, and give it as He chooses, right? So why not show God the respect? Why not show our Father the respect? When you heard what he said, because internally, when our father told us something, we did not say, listen, I'm going to wait. I heard you, Pops, but listen, man, I got to do what I got to do. We did not do that to our father. We did not. So God made each one of us, why not show him the respect and do what he says and apply it immediately? How's that? Okay, read this. For suddenly shall the, shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. In, in that, in the night. That part again. Read suddenly. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, uh -huh. and shall in that security thou shalt be destroyed, and in, in perish in the day of vengeance. Set not thy heart upon good unjust. See that it says suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. Right. Right. And in thy security you shall be destroyed. Right. God is saying. Yes, we wake up, we breathe in, right? We think we, we, we paying the bills, right? We got a car, we got a home, we eat. We think everything is good, but situations can change like this, can it? Right. One day you can wake up and then suddenly you can walk outside and then you got hit by a car. You can wake up and your house burns down. You can leave and go to the grocery store and something happens. Right. God is saying, do not play with it. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today.